Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jamia's Promo. Today we'll be talking about 10 hidden features found inside of the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. But if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jamia's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top. Check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. Now the first hidden feature that we'll talk about today will be inside of Samsung Notes. Now because this is the Note series, it's only form fitting that the first hidden feature will be involving the S Pen. So once inside of Samsung Notes, hit on that little plus button. And on the top, we will be going to that middle section, which is where you're able to write your notes. So let's say for example, you go through here and it's not really the pen that you're looking for. This right here is a highlighter. And so what you'd have to do is you'd have to go on the bottom, click and change which one you want to use. Maybe you want to change the color, the thickness. Once you're done, you can go through here and then now you have the one that you're looking for. But what you're able to do with this icon on the very bottom is that you can actually set up your favorite pens. Now you can set up nine different pens. So there's nine different sections that when you first open this up, it is empty. This is where you go through and you add in your favorite pen and thickness and color. So let's say that we go to this first one over here, which is the fountain pen. Uh, let's go to the second one in and let's put it and keep it at green. Now you're able to add that in and you can see how you have four different pens that is now saved. So here's the other thing that is also hidden with this one. Uh, not a lot of people notice that you can add favorite pens, but the other thing is that let's say right over here, this is the pen that we're using. It's that little green one. Well, if you hit on the S Pen button once, did you see how it changed right there? It moved over into the highlighter. And then if you hit it one more time, it's going over to your very next one. Hit it one more time. Now it should be my red pen. So this is a quick shortcut to change the pens you would like to use. And then now what you're able to do is instead of going down here to your eraser, if you press and hold on the S Pen button, anytime that you go through and you erase any type of a pen mark, the entire line or letter will go away with it. So the thing I love about this is that you're able to go through, switch up your pen style, and you'd be able to get exactly what you want because a lot of times you do have favorite style pens and colors that just really goes for exactly what you're looking for. And with a quick, simple press of a button, you're able to go through and get it the way you like. Hidden feature number two is dealing with the lock screen. So one of the things that you would normally be seeing on your lock screen is two different shortcuts, one on the left and one on the right. But you're able to turn that into this little floating icon that you're able to basically swipe your finger to open that application. And for the sake of this video, I just have my lock screen as one, two, three, four, just to go through all these things pretty quick. And then now you're able to go inside of that specific application. Now, usually it is going to be, I believe your phone and also camera, but because the camera is so quick to open with a double press of the side key, I switched it over into YouTube as it's one of those applications I use all the time. Now to turn on this hidden feature, you want to pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon and go down to where it says lock screen. And then underneath lock screen, you'll scroll down to where it says app shortcuts. And then right here, this is usually where it's set up for bottom corners. And then you'd also be able to set up your left and right shortcut. Or you can have this option here, which is a touch and hold to show, and then you're able to go to those shortcuts. And so once you put in a floating button, you can go through and you can change what you want on your left and what you have on the right. Now this will work with anything that you've also downloaded from the Play Store. So you can see Dr. Mario World, you have Crowd City, Candy Crush, uh, you have Duo, you have so many different applications that is not only just stock, but everything downloaded. And there is that icon right there. So again, you would press and hold on that little floating button and then move up left or right to get into the application. And if you have a lock screen, which more than likely you will, then you'd be able to type in the code and head inside of that application. Hidden feature number three is talking about the 3D scanner and attaching that scan to your camera for movement. So what I mean by that is let's say that we go inside of the camera, you go inside of Bixby Vision and underneath Bixby Vision, this is where you go inside of 3D scanner. And let's say that you go through and you've made a 3D scan. So let's go with this one right over here and also this one. You can see how there's already this little person icon sitting right there. 
What that means is that these ones were already attached. So this way, if I open up camera, it will follow the movements of the human that is also inside the camera. So let's say that we go with this one right here. Because it's not attached, what you're able to do is when you see this person icon, click on the little person icon. It says for best results, rotate the model until it's facing upward and standing upright. So it's facing forward, standing upright, everything looks good, you hit on attach. Now this one has a little bit of, you know, pieces down over here, so it won't look perfect, but the other two that I've already attached already looks really good. I just wanna show you how you can attach it. Now, once it's ready and able to be attached to a human, you can see right there that it has another icon right next to it, meaning it's able to move. So once this is done, go inside of your camera, and then this one will be able to have movement with whatever image is there. So you can do it with a photo, or you can also do it with a video. So for what this looks like, let's say that we go inside of gallery, uh, head inside a 3D scan, let's go into this one here. Uh, so I'll actually move this towards the end. You can see how Bentley is moving around. He is also circling with them, moves with them. He moves his arms and everything kind of goes along with them. The next hidden feature is talking about what you're able to do with the S Pen in each particular application. So yes, you are able to go through the settings. You can scroll on down, go inside of advanced features. You can go inside of the S Pen and you can also go inside of air gestures and through here you can you know kind of set up and change what a single press does a double press and then also with the gestures with the up down left right you know and, and spinning it clockwise and counterclockwise but sometimes you don't want to go through all of that and you want to know exactly what you're able to do as well as change it inside of that application saving you time so inside of the gallery app for example let's say that you hover over this little floating icon here this lets you know what you're able to do next item, previous item, or you can use the gestures. Now the next hidden feature I'll kind of merge with this one is other than just hovering, if you were to tap on the air command button, and then this is a way that you're able to tap on gallery on the top. And this again will show you everything you're able to do with your air actions. But instead of just telling you what you can do, this is again where you can change what you are able to do. So with the double press, you can change it to next item, previous details or nothing. Uh, and then also you'd be able to scroll down over here and with these blue words, again, you can change what all of these do as well. So this way you don't have to go through all of the settings inside of advanced features and S pens and you know all that crazy stuff. It's a way that you're able to change it right from here. Now it's not only inside of gallery, that's gonna be something that you're able to do with almost everything. But for example, let's say you go inside of YouTube when you uh, hover right over here, it's gonna tell you what you're able to do. So play pause and you also have the next track for a double press but then right over here uh, you have another uh, few more options that you're able to do volume volume up volume down you can play the next track and previous track and so if there's any of these that you would like to change click on that and you're able to change with any of these again you can do all of that through the settings but sometimes you don't want to go through all of that and you want to change it from the specific app that you're in at that moment in time for the next hidden feature, we will head upstairs and show off a little bit more of air gestures. Now, the nice thing with air gestures is that you don't have to be directly in front of your phone. You could be behind your phone. You can be in a different room. You can even do this with the screen on or off, but it'll only work with one application at one time. So one of the things you're able to do is let's say that you're watching YouTube or listening to music. You're able to press and hold on the S Pen button and swipe your arm or hand or the S Pen left or right to go to the beginning of the song, the previous song or the next song. But one of my favorite things is inside of the camera application, you're able to do the zoom in and zoom out without even being anywhere close to your phone. So if you're shooting any type of videos, you can be as far away as you want and then zoom in. And with the air gestures, you don't have to keep on circulating your arms into a motion. You can just do one motion, either counterclockwise or clockwise, and it'll stay zooming in as long as you keep pressing the S Pen button. So if you wanted to zoom in at 10 times, you're able to do that just by pressing and holding and keep holding the S Pen after you do the zoom in function. The next hidden feature is one that's actually pretty fun. So if you're somebody who uses stickers or let's say that you use Snapchat and you know how they have the Bitmoji that is built into Snapchat, 
Well, Bitmoji is now actually built into your text messaging application. So once you go inside of your text messaging application, just go inside of any type of uh, conversation. And once you open up your keyboard, click on settings. Now inside of settings, go inside of smart typing. And with inside of smart typing on the bottom, you can see where it says here, suggest stickers while typing. Now there's two different ones that's attached now. I don't know if there'll be more in the future or if I need to download more applications and more will come with it. But really basically you have Bitmoji, you have this other one here, but these are just the little uh, Samsung stickers. This one's the Bitmoji one. This is the one that's, you know, created kind of to look like you. And once you have this one turned on, let's say that you go back inside of some text messaging, it'll only work when you type in one word. So as you type in a word, you're going to be able to see your Bitmojis pop on through. And then the other one, which is those Samsung stickers that I was talking about from before. So let's say that you want to go through and you want to send uh, one of your little Bitmojis just by typing the word love to somebody, then that is the best, fastest, and easiest way and I love that it's integrated with uh, inside of Samsung messages. For this next hidden feature, we're gonna start inside of Screen Off Memo. Basically, Screen Off Memo is a way that if your screen was off, it was in the lock screen, you pulled out the S Pen, it's a way that you're able to, you know, make or jot down notes fast. Now, this is, you know, basically chicken scratch. This isn't that good of handwriting at all. But what we're about to see here is the hidden feature that this one is really going to be talking about. So let's unlock the phone. You made a little quick note. Let's hit on one, two, three, four. It's not going to be my my normal lock screen. But let's say that we go inside of Samsung Notes and you can see that it's saved right here. Now, the other nice thing about this one that you weren't able to do on the previous phones was when if you were to tap on the screen, you're able to add more to the screen off memo because maybe you forgot to, <laughs> I don't know, do something like this. And then maybe if you're making a shopping list, you want to add in that you have to also buy eggs. So once this is all done and saved, here is the hidden feature portion. So we get out of here. If you swipe up, you can go inside of this little finder or this search. So we wrote the word, uh, you know, the word make because you're able to make notes fast. So if I has to hit on the search button and let's say that we scroll on down right over here, you have Samsung notes. When you click on that one right there, it also highlights that word that you just searched. That is how smart the Galaxy Note 10 is, is that not only, you know, again, you're able to turn all of these into text, but even if you still have it as written handwriting, you can still search through it with text. And then I guess since we are inside of here, how about we go back inside of Samsung Notes? Let's make a new one. Uh, and let's say that we need to buy eggs, milk, cheese, bread. So we got done with all those. If you were to tap it with your finger, and if you were to highlight however much you would like to highlight, then you're able to convert it and it puts it right inside a text form. So this way you'd be able to send this one off, something that is easy and clean to read. Also, another nice thing is maybe you're writing uh, something for school. Well, now you converted it into text and then you can share this thing and put it into a Word file. So it's actually really sweet that anytime that you're able to just jot something down, add an extra sentence, put down an extra paragraph, you can put it in, extract it into a Word file, or you can just send this one off to somebody inside of text. For this next hidden feature, let's stay inside of Samsung Notes and let's go just a little bit further when it comes down to extracting anything that you write inside of Samsung Notes. So let's say that you've met somebody and you're writing down maybe their phone number, you're writing down some dates, uh, and then you don't want to bring it up again like, hey, I, was, I wrote everything down in my notes, but I need to add you inside of my contact application. So the nice thing that you're able to do is instead of trying to come back and look for this or do copy and paste or you know ask that person again, once you have it written down, hover the S Pen over whatever you wrote and you can see that it comes up with that little call icon and then now you're able to give this person a call or add them into contacts. Now, if you're at a bar and you pick up someone's phone number, you might wanna call it right away as they are there just to make sure that they are giving you a sound phone number. Now, the next thing you're, you are able to do is even if you wrote down a Gmail. So let's say that you wrote down someone's Gmail, you're able to send them uh, an email. Let's say that you wrote down a date because maybe you're gonna go down and meet this person at Starbucks. Well, you can tap this right there there, and then you can bring it inside of your calendar, but you just have to add in your title. So at least you don't forget uh, the dates of when you're supposed to go. You just want to make sure that you have still everything written down. So it's really nice that you're able to either write it down with a little text form. Uh, you can even do text right over here. Uh, it will not work if you 
have little periods. You definitely want to go through with the dashes. Uh, you also or not able to do it with this one right here. This one thinks it's gonna be a phone number. Uh, and so when you tap that, it's gonna put it into a phone number, you know, application. So you wanna make sure that you're putting it in with little dashes and things like that. That is what it actually works with the true form. Okay, so we are almost done with this video. I'm gonna show you two more hidden features. And this one is dealing with, let's say that you're using your phone and you have your S Pen out, but then the screen wants to time out. So maybe you have your timeout to be one minute or three minutes. And let's say that you go to the bathroom or you went in the kitchen to get food Food or popcorn or you're helping your son or daughter and you want to go back to your phone and finish what you're doing well instead of you having to go through and type in your pin and password and everything else uh, through a setting you can just press the s pen button once and it'll unlock your phone now again this is something that you have to agree with and retype in your password the first time just to make sure that this phone knows that that is what you want it to do so first to turn this on you want to go inside of your settings on the very top scroll down to where it says advanced features and then underneath advanced features because it's dealing with the s pen go to s pen and then the option here which is unlock with s pen button so originally this will be as turned off meaning don't use uh, but once you turn this one on it'll ask you to put it in your pen or password i believe uh, and then this way the next time that you're using your phone and the s pen is out you'll be able to unlock your device. Now, sometimes I get the question that is asked is what happens if the S Pen is inside of the phone? It's going to time out. You have this setting that's turned on. Well, it will not work because the S Pen has been inserted into the phone before it was timing out. So if you are using the S Pen and then it times out and it was out the entire time, then you're good to go. So let's say that we go inside of here. I take out the S Pen. I try to hit the button. You know, nothing works. I go on back. Uh, and this is still here where I have to unlock my phone. So it will not work this way. It's only if the S Pen is out. So I'll just show you one more time. The S Pen is out. We've unlocked the phone. We're securely into our device. But again, the one thing I have to stress is that if you're somewhere public and you have your S Pen out, or if you're at work, if you're at home, and there's other people around who can just pick up the S Pen and hit this button, you just have to remember that they can get into your phone and do whatever they want. So this is really something to have on if you trust people around you and if you trust that you're only going to have your screen timeout as you're using this S Pen because more than likely if your screen times out and you're still holding the S Pen or you didn't put it in you are still within the vicinity of your phone. Now for this last hidden feature, we will be talking about the side key. Now this is not Bixby key, it's not the power key. If you hit it once, it'll basically turn the phone off and turn it back on. If you press and hold, it'll go inside of Bixby. Sometimes it also states that you have to put volume down and the side key to turn off the phone, but you're able to go through and change whatever you want it to do just by pulling down on the very top, clicking on that power icon and right there, side key settings. This is where you can change what you want the side key to do. If you double press it, it'll launch the camera out of the box. If you press and hold without it being the power menu, it goes inside of Bixby uh, so it can wake Bixby up. So let's say that you want it to power off the phone or basically power off menu. So now when you press and hold, this is what you're probably used to and you can set it to this. Uh, or you can have it as wake Bixby, however you want it to. The double press will open any application that was pre-installed as well as downloaded to the phone. So if you go inside of here, open app, and you can make it pretty much open anything that you want it to open. But for me, I like the fact that it opens up the camera pretty quick, especially the fact because with my floating icon on the front screen here, I did take away my camera. And the only reason why the camera is not as one of these shortcuts is because double pressing of the camera pops it open extremely fast and it doesn't have to be unlocked the phone just to take a picture or take a video and so everything that you take inside of this menu here you can see your gallery of what you just took but not anything that you've previously taken so i like the fact that you are able to really have a programmable side button that either you can have for, uh, you know, let's say the double press or single press and hold, you can tell it what to do. So that right there has been the hidden features on the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here, the very bottom left-hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.